The QX Max is an extremely versatile laser that targets an expanding population. That population is patients who have had tattoo treatments and now regret the tattoo or are looking to get a tattoo revision, as well as patients with pigmented areas on their face, arms, or other parts of the body, often secondary to photo damage or other cutaneous conditions. I got my tattoos done about four years ago when I turned 18. Uh, me and my friends decided, let's go to Mexico. We went. A couple drinks later, we ended up in a bar that had a tattoo parlor inside of it. We came out with tattoos. And at the time, it felt like a really good idea. Hey, we're young, let's do it. And now it's, just, it's pointless. It's inappropriate to have at work, and I just, they're like my biggest regrets of my whole life. One of the benefits of this laser is that you have five wavelengths at your disposal that can target multiple pigment colors as well as different skin types. You have the 1064 nanometer wavelength and acceler mode that can target very dark colored pigments such as your dark blue, brown, blacks, and dark greens. You also have the 585 nanometer wavelength which can target orange, uh, or yellow, as well as the 532 nanometer wavelength, which can target light colors such as yellow, white, or orange. The 650 nanometer wavelength would be excellent for blues or greens. So we're gonna be targeting, targeting these little lentigines that she has on her forearm. She has, you know, they're scattered, they're, they're tiny, and it's a very quick, very painless procedure. And you can hear the difference in areas that have a lot of pigment and areas that don't have much pigment. The popping sound gets much more dramatic. And so these areas will get very crusty. Um, rarely they'll get a small little blister forming and they'll come off over the next week or so. Um, there shouldn't be really any pain afterwards. Um, it should be a very comfortable procedure. One of the highlights of the 1064 nanometer wavelength is that you can treat pigment in all skin types, even type five or type six skin. By having that long wavelength that does not pick up on their background melanin, you can treat them without leading to post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or post-inflammatory hypopigmentation, which is really the main source of concern for a practitioner when they treat patients that have a naturally dark skin tone. It's black ink. It's there on my skin, so it's gonna take several treatments to get rid of it. It's better than having it for the rest of my life. You have multiple wavelengths at your disposal that can target a wide range of indications, a wide range of tattoo colors in one-stop shop for your patients.